is left. Oh my gosh, today's the 29th. Look at this great sketch. Uh, let's see, this one says Scrappy Adam. Oh my gosh. So he's um, he's the one over at Dottie Bat Flair. And he's the one that's been giving us the suggestions every day. And this, I, I think, should have been more the half and half. I don't know. I probably messed up. Um, but I'm definitely going to be doing half and half on this one. And um, I really love the idea of the stars. And it had uh, three photos and then the, the journaling here. Um, yeah, I, I almost did that. So let's see what I come up with. So the papers that I've chose are, and let me tell you why I chose green. My green bin is overflowing. It is so, uh, I can barely close the lid. And so I'm trying to get my green stuff used up and yeah, I, I have got to, um, yeah, I've got, I've got to whittle it down. So that's why I've been using green quite a bit lately. So the photos, I only have two. Um, I, there is one more photo that I can certainly trim off. I didn't even think about doing that. But And I know you can't tell. It'll have to go in the journaling. Um, my little grand dog, Pumpkin, she has figured out a way, or she figured out a way to stick her... <laughs> Her little chew toy in her collar so she didn't have to hold on to it while she chewed on it so she could like keep it in her mouth and, it, and if she ever quit chewing on it it stayed on her collar and she could get to it later I thought you know what that is one smart dog I don't know how she figured that out and I really think that that was just like my daughter couldn't believe it so let's see what I pulled out I keep um, my embellishments in these little bags. Yep, so here's my little journaling card. Yeah, that, that'll be easy to um, to write on. And, yep, I don't have any more um, flair about dogs or I think I did find something. So here's here is a chipboard. I think you know, I know he's not a dachshund, but it is a little dog. And I found in my stuff, I found this. Let me see. It says, which is appropriate because it's a bone that he's like got in his in his collar. It says forever friends. So I'm going to add that to it as well. And then we have a tag and all these stars because I see all the stars everywhere. And some of the stars are static in there. So yeah, I have tons of stars. I have the word you. This is um, also the wooden. These are wooden. I got these from um, uh, MK uh, Gun. So from her, uh, some assemblage required is her Etsy store. So uh, that's where I got those. And here's some more wood veneer. Um, I used these earlier this month, kept the green out for whatever reason for this page. And then I have, that goes with it. I think it does. There's some stickers. Yeah, there's a little bit of, and I just, um, I just pulled out what I thought would work. I got a variety of colors. Yeah, so let's see how this comes together. I'm excited to get this one done. Um, so if I messed up on the suggestion yesterday and today, because I have today's being three or more shapes. So I just don't, oh, I see, because he's got like a, a square and a circle and some stars. Oh, there's not even stars there. Yeah, probably not going to do that either. Sometimes I'm just a rebel. Not very often, though. Okay, so yeah, i probably get another photo. I have another one that goes with that. So let me get all that together, and I will be back soon. Yeah, I was able to get that third photo taken and was able to place them as, you know, as um, Scrappy Adam had on, on the sketch. And this is about six inches of this green and the stars I just 
try to use up everything that I had. And I think I did. I used up a lot of things. I even pulled some other things out. Um, so, so here is, you know, let me, let me go up here. What you couldn't see for the journaling card is it is a soft pink grid. And that's what made it so easy to do the journaling. And then I put, you know, the chipboard dog and then on foam, I put that little forever friend bone and then all the stars. I put all the big stars down first. I even added a tag right here just so that there was, you know, some color and some things other than stars. And I just put the big ones down and then the medium size and I just filled in the empty spaces with the small ones. Yeah, there's all different kinds. I don't even think I showed these. I think I pulled these out after. So these are the ones from Pink Fresh that have the stitching in them. I have a few of them. This one, I have this green one. I, I used the rest of them. I think that's a very pale blue. You can barely see it. Um, I have some wood veneer. This is a wood veneer. And then these are the acrylics that I got from Bramble Fox. And I added a mat behind all of my photos. And over here, I even had a cork star, an itty bitty star. This is from a die that I had. Here's another acrylic star. And then I went through my stash just to find some words. So I have these stickers here that I put on. And I think that is it. This was excellent. I love this mainly because I was able to use so much stuff. Um, it's great. I've mentioned this multiple times, how it's always nice to use up my stash because I get tired of looking at it for one. Two, it keeps growing. And if I don't use it, that's never good. And, and three, that's what I bought it for. It was to use it. And I need to just go ahead and use it. I used to be a very, very simple scrapper and not do all of this, but I'm really embracing it. I'm really liking it. Yeah, I really enjoy doing this. So thanks to Adam for the great sketch and for Christy for putting this whole thing together. Make sure you check out the other people that are participating in the hop this month we only have one more day left oh my gosh even though there's 31 days in march we're only doing it for 30. so yeah i just encourage you to check out the other people that are participating and i will see you tomorrow for the final day bye